Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Prepper, and I'm here at the Coldez, which you have seen many times in my videos. Beautiful place. But I'm here to test my, uh, actually fix my uh, Delta Loop antenna for 30 meters. The first wire I cut was a little too short, and uh, I cut a new one, and this one is much longer, 30.3 meters actually. And I used the uh, formula 1005 divided by the frequency in megahertz gives you the length in feet. And I converted that to meters, that's 30.3. Pretty long, but that's a whole full wave. My goal is to see if uh, I'm going to use the 5 meter quarter wavelength of 75 ohm cable that I have here, or if I'm going to use the, the balloon, the 4 to 1 balloon. Now, First, I'm going to use it simply with a uh, BNC adapter. So I'm going to match it as close as I can without any impedance matching device. So none of these to start. And then I'll probably have an SWR of, you know, of 2.5, 2 to 1 maybe. And then I'll add these two in turn to see which one works best. Either the 5 meter cable, 1 quarter wave, 75 ohm, or the 4 to 1 balloon once again. This should work, the spider beam is stuck in the rocks. Let's give it a shot. Alright, the guys are ready. We're going to try to make a nice triangle. Ouais, vas-y, rapproche-toi, rapproche-toi, rapproche-toi. Frédéric, tire, ouais. Ok, bon là, je pense que c'est à peu ouais, c'est à peu près au milieu là. Ok. Bon, on plante. All right, so the delta loop is in place and it's big. And I'm not sure it's, I think it's the maximum size you could uh, use a delta loop for 30 meters. Anything below that frequency and uh, it's going to be way, way too long. It's already not a perfect shape. Alright, so the antenna is resonant on 9.85, just around 9.85 megahertz. So meaning it's too long. So I cut off about a foot. Very interesting result guys. So my SWR is lowest now at 10.1, 10.15 megahertz, which is exactly where I want it. So, but the SWR is uh, 3.7 to one. So a four to one balloon theoretically should give us a perfect, you know, very close to 50 ohm impedance. And that's what the radio wants to see. Since I already have the uh, BNC adapter there, I'm going to first try the 5 meter whoops, <laughs> cable here, that's a 75 ohm cable, so 5 meters, uh, including uh, the velocity factor of the cable, is a quarter wave on 30 meters, and this should bring down the impedance close to 50 ohm also. We'll see which one of the two works better. So take this off. Oh, it's going to take off. If I if I let it go, it's going to take off and I won't grab it again. So so here I replaced the uh, 50 ohm cable with my 5 meter 75 ohm cable. So the uh, SWR with the 5 meter 75 ohm cable, <laughs> I have to stop repeating that, <laughs> is 2.1 to 1. And uh, it's perfectly usable, but you know, it could be a bit better. And I'm hoping the balloon will do better than that. Uh, if we do the math, of course, uh, it should be perfectly spot on. So I think the balloon is probably going to do a bit better. Let's try that. As I expected, 4 to 1 uh, did the trick and the SWR is 1.1 to 1, which is perfect. Uh, I'm not going to try to change anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to do with that 5 meter 75 ohm cable. I think it would have worked fine. Uh, it's just probably not exactly the correct length. So, uh, but you know, it's much easier to uh, to use a balloon 
and uh, to just uh, you know start cutting a coax cable and uh, resoldering a plug on it and uh, you know all doing all that so i think i'll stick with the balloon and that's how the cookie crumbles i think this uh, balloon is probably going to live on this antenna on a uh, permanent basis basically and what really uh, comes to me uh, as very clear here is that a delta loop uh, is not going to work well or uh, actually it would work very well probably horizontally but as a vo vertical triangle uh, it's not very uh, practical to set up uh, for a wire that long uh, it's 30 meters of wire here and it's, it's pretty darn difficult to uh, to get a good shape out of it so I would not use a delta loop uh, actually a vertical one below 10 megahertz now, if I was making a horizontal loop, delta or square or anything else, I would not hesitate, of course, to uh, use it on 40 and 80 meters, even 160. What's great here is that I don't have to use my tuner. I can uh, transmit on the whole 30 meter band without having to worry about my SWR. It's fine and I don't need a tuner. And now it's time to make a couple contacts. I plugged in my uh, Power Traveler Falcon 21, uh, 20 watt, uh, well, 21 watt solar panel here, and uh, I have the K1 and uh, my solar charger, presumably MPPT charger with three 18650 cells. That's a bit fast for me. Lost him. Ah. No copy. Aha. Uh -huh. QRM. <laughs> That's a bit fast for the QRZ there. Well, that was a bit fast. I think it's too fast. I mean, it's great to have a QRZ where you have only dots, pretty much, but uh, <laughs> don't abuse it. Well, in the space of one contact, uh, the battery went up uh, 0 0.1 volt. Oh, there's someone else.
slow everything together.
I totally stalled on this one. I just lost my mouse. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't understand anything. And uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm tired. All right, guys, so the Delta Loop works really well. And uh, what's really striking is the, uh, the strength of the reception. And uh, that's really uh, more than uh, I'm used to. So uh, definitely uh, good results here. And I have no doubt this antenna would perform and does perform very well. Now the problem is that, well, it depends on uh, which band you're using it on. Because, uh, of course, if you use it, like I said, on a lower band, it's not going to be very practical and you better have a friend with you, uh, even two, uh, to set it up. Otherwise, it's not that easy. So I would definitely... Uh, use rather use uh, half wave and fed once again uh, the delta loop is great but for 30 meters it's a bit of uh, it's a bit too big uh, i love my delta loop on six meters i'm sure i would love a delta loop on 20 meters but on uh, 30 meters and uh, it's it's getting really big so i would not make one for anything lower than that again except if it was horizontal but on a mast like this uh, vertically with the tip up 30 meters would be your lowest frequency i would guess but hey that was an interesting experiment especially with the impedance matching uh, noticing that the uh, 4 to 1 balloon works much better than the 5 meter 75 ohm cable and uh, i'm sure there's a way to make it work as well but uh, i just going to do the simplest thing and use what works now and that's it on my six meter delta loop i will keep using the quarter wave uh, 75 ohm cable which is uh, one meter long but on this delta loop i'm going to use the balloon i'm using what works for a specific antenna and I don't think that balloon I have is uh, is good for uh, 50 megahertz. So, but uh, on 30 meters uh, certainly works really well. And that's from again Sota Beams. Comes as a kit and uh, it's really easy to build. But I mean you can make your own. It's not very difficult. Uh, a balloon is a very simple device. But the kit from Sota Beams uh, just makes it easier. Basically, you get everything in one package. And I'm not getting paid to say this. <laughs> and I bought my balloon. And uh, here's another issue you might consider about the Delta Loop. Uh, for such a long antenna on 30 meters, uh, you can quickly make a mess. Am I going to use this antenna again? Um, I don't know. <laughs> a half-wave unfed is so much easier, but I mean, it's a very, it's a high performance antenna, no doubt. Uh, I would use it, I guess, if I was set up somewhere for a longer time. Uh, just setting it up for uh, a couple hours, you know, it's just not very, mm, it's not very efficient. I would rather use something simpler. But uh, if I was to be somewhere for a longer time, or if I was to use it horizontally, uh, you know, at my house, uh, if I had a house, I would have no problem using it then. But I would, of course, use a, a little bit of a stronger mast. Or if it was horizontal, I would have, you know, very good attachment points. But uh, the thing is that for portable operations, it's a little bit complicated. But for a camp situation now, that would be a great antenna. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget Patreon.com if you'd like to help a bit. And until next time, have a good one.